Yo, what's up guys? It is me, Boss Crasher, aka the Green Dinosaur. <clears throat> Excuse me. Back with another video. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, let me just get my camera. Right. That's much better. Alright, let me zoom out too a little bit. Alright. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing once again another expensive clothing brand. So in my last expensive clothing brand review video, I reviewed Gucci. Well, in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be reviewing another expensive clothing brand called D Dior, like D Dior, Christian Dior, Dior, like like that. I think I'm, I'm not too sure, but regardless, it's called Dior, and I'm just gonna be once again reviewing this expensive clothing and to see if it's really worth the price, to see if it's really worth those thousands of dollars and everything. So uh, yeah, so let's get started, and uh, yeah, so. As you can see here, we got a whole variety of Dior clothing right now, and I heard of I heard Dior is pretty popular too. I don't know if it's like the most the second most popular expensive clothing brand. That's why I chose it, you know. So, uh, and I've heard it I've heard its name surface around the internet too. So uh, yeah. So uh, right off the bat, looking at some of these shirts here, let's start with the first one. All right. So the first one, let's take a closer look at it. Um, all right. I guess we will we'll just wait for that to load. Uh, except what uh cookie all right whatever uh so here we have the dior shirt so it's kind of just like a dior design you know the big d and the r is kind of just all over the place and that's pretty much it other than that it's kind of just a, a, a black shirt and it's a, almost a thousand almost nine hundred nine hundred dollars basically if you add the tax and everything it adds up to nine hundred dollars now um, I don't think this shirt or this design is really $900 worthy or almost like $1,000 worthy at all. I feel like if Dior was an expensive clothing brand if, and this was just like a normal shirt that you would find at like a thrift store or something, it would be worth at least like, like, I don't know, maybe 20 This definitely is not worth almost $1,000. You definitely wouldn't look at this shirt and be like, what? I don't know what I did. Sorry. Anyways. You definitely wouldn't look at this shirt and be like, hmm, that's definitely in a thousand dollar. That's definitely a shirt I spent almost a thousand dollars on. But once again, you know, these clothing brands, these expensive clothing brands are smart because the only reason why people spend this much money on just, you know, average clothes like this is simply because Dior is an expensive clothing brand and all the celebrities for some reason wear it. And people want to be like the celebrities, which is why they want to buy these shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, they don't, I'm pretty sure they don't actually like the design. Cause it's just kind of plain however since it's popular people are obviously going to buy it so this shirt so far is pretty average i really don't think it's worth the almost a thousand dollar price once again it looks like it, look, it looks like it could be a 20 dollars shirt if it didn't come from <clears throat> a freaking um clo expensive clothing brand like this guy's just rocking it out like it's the crap when it really isn't he has that gold chain though i guess we could respect that i mean there's a close-up of the design right there and stuff like that oh look we have some more dior stuff right here we have a dior uh pouch with strap two thousand dollars for a small pouch if we're gonna make it two thousand dollars you can at least make it a little bit bigger like that looks like a pretty small bag for two two thousand dollars would you guys really be proud to spend two thousand dollars that's like two gaming that's like two gaming consoles that's like two xboxes that's even more too but just imagine you save up uh two thousand dollars just to blow it out blow it off on a, a bag i'm pretty sure you would read that you would regret you you would regret your decision very much later on in the future you'd be like why the hell did i spend two grand on this a bag what, what is wrong with me but yeah i feel like most people who buy this crap who buy who spend thousands of dollars to, be, to just get average clothes average bags highly regret their decision later on like honestly this is this is just a, a rich people website obviously only rich people buy clothing from here but but the sad reality is that people literally spend and blow off blow off their life savings on, on just expensive uh, expensive brands just to look cool but it's 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 just, it's just average like it doesn't make you look cool it makes you look stupid for sp spending so much money on this like, you literally get clowned on in school for spending so much money on just stupid ex clothing brands that don't even look good. like well, look at this this sweater what's so special about this sweater it looks like it looks like a sweater your grandma knits you like are you serious look it has it, like there's it, like it has a crappy design it looks average. There's, there's not even a Dior logo on it. How, do, how, how, how are people supposed to know that this is Dior or, or that this came from the, an expensive clothing brand? It looks like a normal. It looks like a normal sweater. If you literally wear this sweater outside on like a date or something, they're never gonna know this is Dior. 
unless they're like a hardcore Dior fan. But other than that, how are people gonna know that this is an expensive sweatshirt worth two thousand freaking dollars? No one's gonna think that. No one's gonna think you spent two thousand dollars on this. They're gonna think you spent twenty bucks on this. That doesn't even look expensive. There's no Dior logo. Like, come on, man. Come on, Dior. If you're gonna, if you're gonna charge two thousand dollars for a sweatshirt, at least put a logo somewhere so people will know that. Oh, hey, I spent two thousand dollars on this leathery piece of piece of crap that's for some reason two thousand dollars because it's, it's from an expensive clothing brand like come on it looks like an average it looks like an average sweatshirt from a thrift store literally and i've been to a thrift a thrift store before so i know what thrift what thrift store clothing looks like come on man come on like are you are you kidding me that's almost the same price as a freaking bag too which is kind of weird how the bag is almost the same price as a whole sweatshirt but even then this is just terrible it's it's terrible it looks like a normal sweater like a normal freaking sweater that you would get at, i don't know jc penny or michael kors but nope appara apparently it's a d it's a dior sweater for two thousand dollars you know what i would bet like so much money that they did that they simply just took this sweater from from like a random store and just called it dior and are now charging so much money for it simply just because it's dior if this wasn't dior people would not buy this people would not want to buy this at all if this was if this wasn't associated with dior or any type of expensive clothing brand no one no one in their mama would want to rock this in public they'd be embarrassed they wouldn't want to hide in their cave forever if they just bought this but hey it's dior so i mean it's fine you could buy the open you could you could buy the most ugliest a piece of clothing alive but hey if it comes from an expensive clothing brand like D D dior or gucci you're good you're, you're fine because you you're rich and rich is always cool i guess but re like it, it's it's ridiculous and then we have the other the dior the same dior logo but this seems to be long sleeve once again it looks it looks it looks kind of weird the long sleeves and everything but sixteen hundred dollars definitely not worth sixteen hundred dollars once again if this were just a normal this, this is this is basically a normal shirt like the only reason why it's expensive is, is because of the freaking logo. If you took the logo out and you just and you were just left with the shirt, it wouldn't be worth anything. Obviously, Ob obviously it wouldn't be worth anything. B but because they have the Dior logo there, obviously it's gonna be worth sixteen hundred sixteen hundred freaking dollars because the the logo has all of the the worth or the the money or the price or whatever. So obviously, but if you took the logo out and you, and you were just left with the sweater, obviously it wouldn't be worth anything. Once again, it'd be worth like twenty bucks or something. I mean, I mean, this doesn't have a logo on it for some reason. It's two thousand dollars, so I don't know what the hell is up with that. But whatever. And here we have a a pendant necklace. I'm surprised this is this isn't at least eight thousand dollars because it's like gold right here, gold finished brass or whatever. I'm surprised they didn't make this like worth ten thousand dollars because you guys know gold things, especially from expensive clothing brands, are typically expensive. Um, so I'm kind of surprised that that's not uh, a lot of money. But, um, you know, I guess $500 is, it's still a lot, definitely, for a freaking necklace that you could buy a gaming console with that or a lifetime supply, supply of food. But, hey, you know, this isn't as bad as the freaking um, chains or watches or even rings that are worth, like, $250,000. I don't know. People, I don't know why people spend so much money on jewelry. Well, what's, so, what, what's so special about jewelry? Why do you guys buy jewelry so much? Is it because you like to sell it on the black market? Is that why? I don't, I don't know. All right, but anyways, let's go back to the main website um, where we were looking at the designs. All right, so here we have another Dior one, $1,100. Uh, yeah, $1,100. Um, so let's see here. Uh, so it's a sweatshirt that it's, it's, a nor it's a normal sweatshirt. But guys, guess what? This isn't just any normal sweatshirt. Because if you take a look at this, at this small logo right here on the corner, you can see that... <gasps> It's a Dior sweatshirt. Oh, I gotta buy it. I gotta buy it right now. I gotta spend my 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 life savings on a normal shirt. But because it has the logo, that means it's worth eleven hundred dollars. Like, come on, man. Come the freak on. This is this is making me mad. I am getting furious just looking at these average sweatshirts, be, be charging you almost a thousand dollars for it just because it has the Dior logo. Like, come on. Come on, man. Why do expensive clothing brands like to do this to people? They are ripping you off, guys. Like, seriously, they are ripping you the hell off. If you buy th this clothing from them, you are a freaking clown. I mean, come on. If the logo wasn't here, this sweatshirt wouldn't be worth fuck. It would be. It wouldn't be worth anything. Like this sweatshirt would, would would simply be a normal sweatshirt with the normal price if it didn't have that logo. But because it has that logo, oh, it looks like we have to charge fit eleven hundred dollars, one thousand one hundred fifty dollars for this for a normal sweatshirt just with the Dior logo. Come on, man. Come on. 
Like you, you, you guys can't, you guys really can't bother to actually make your clothing look good. And I know, I know, obviously the reason they don't even try on their clothing is because no matter what people are going to buy from them, because once again, they're an expensive clothing brand. They could literally make the plainest, ugliest shirt a lot. Like they could literally just make a, a white shirt and just slap the Dior logo on the, on the top right corner. And then boom, millions of sales, millions of, uh, millions of celebrities are going to wear it. Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, etc. And people are just are going to want to buy that white plain t-shirt if it has that Dior logo. But seriously, guys, without the logo, we you have to remember without the logo these these these, these clothing these shirts these sweaters are, are useless and are worthless without the logo you know what i'm saying the only reason it's expensive is because it's because of that logo obviously if you took the logo this literally looks like a normal gray sweatshirt i've seen i've seen cheaper i've seen better cheaper sweatshirts than this that have a, a way better than design i've seen better i've seen better sweat sweatshirts than this like at jc penny or, or or at macy's that are way cheaper way more affordable th than this i mean and and way better looking and just extremely better looking too like there are just there are be there's better clothing than this like gap or, or nike they have sick sweatshirt designs and they, they don't even charge 100 bucks for for most of them i mean i mean seriously they have the most awesome designs ever and yet you're still spending almost a thousand dollars on such a plain a sweatshirt with no design, no game whatsoever, just a logo. These these companies are playing you. They're playing you. Why would you spend thousands of dollars on a plain a shirt or sweatshirt when you can spend like when you can spend like freaking fifty or a hundred dollars on actual good look good looking pieces of clothing? These companies are playing you guys. They're playing you. Stop it. Like just stop. Stop it. Like stop. Whatever. Let me move on. I'm getting mad. I don't like this company. I don't. I think this this is worse. This is uh, this is worse than Gucci. This is just, this is just uh, like ten times worse than Gucci. If you guys haven't seen my Gucci video, go watch it. But this is worse. This this is definitely getting a low rating. And oh my god. Oh my god. Another one, guys. Uh, guys, I'm about to lose it. I'm about to smash this computer, bro. Oh my. Oh oh my god. Oh seven hundred and fifty dollars for a a blue teal shirt. And but hey, got you know what, guys? The reason why this is seven hundred fifty dollars is because of the logo. The logo is where all the, where the price comes from. The freaking logo! Oh my god! It just guys, you you know what makes me so mad is that this just this is a normal shirt. This is literally a normal shirt. This is a normal blue shirt. It's like they it's like they're just taking normal pieces of clothing and just sticking a logo on it. That's all they're. That's all they're doing, and they're charging you. They're charging you hundreds of dollars for it. Like what the hell? Oh my god! Like, I swear that the creator of Dior is just gonna take a shit on the ground and it's just, and is gonna pick that up and slap a Dior logo on it and sell it online. And so many people are gonna want. So so many people are gonna want to buy it. That's literally what. That's literally what this is. It's literally the same freaking thing. This is a normal shirt. It's a normal shirt. If you took the logo, it's obviously a normal shirt. That's, is, is this what Dior is known for? For taking regular pieces of clothing and just slapping their logo on it and then charging people thousands of dollars for it? Come on! This is this is by a long shot worse than Gucci. I don't think any other expensive clothing brand could be how terrible this is. Like, come, guys, they're, these, these companies are playing you. They're freaking playing you. This is just insane. This is a normal shirt. I'll admit the color is pretty good, but come on, 700, $750. I could literally go to a store and get the, the, the same shirt with the same clothing just without the logo. That's it. But why does it even matter? Why? Did you really think ladies are going to compliment you? Like, wow, you have a Dior shirt. You spent almost $1,000 on this shirt. You, uh, you, you are a freaking, you are a man. Obviously, if she's a gold digger, she's going to like you. But come on, man. No, Nobody's going to applaud you for for spending $1,000 on a normal looking shirt with the logo. Unless they're a Dior fanboy or, or they like to spend their money. But come on, guys. This is ridiculous. Uh, this is ridiculous. And what the hell is, what, what is that? You, you saw how small that logo? You can't even see the logo. Look, what? 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 What the hell? What? What? You can't even see it. It's a normal black shirt. You can't even see the logo. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Six hundred ninety dollars. You can't even see the logo. What? What is that? It looks terrible. What? Guys. Oh my god. Oh god. I, that's it. I can't. I can't with this company anymore. Oh my. I. I. I can't. No. Stop. Oh my god. Oh.
All right, guys, listen. My final verdict on this company, two out of 10, or no, one out of 10, because two is being generous. Terrible, trash-ass company. Literally, all they do is take normal pieces of clothing, like normal pieces of clothing like this, and slap their logo on it. That's all they do. That's literally all they have to do to, to, to freaking make money. Take a normal sweatshirt, a normal shirt, a normal black shirt, and, you know, once again, a norm, an, an, another normal sweatshirt, slap their logo, slap Dior on it, and then sell it for thousands of dollars. That, 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 that's, that, that's what I've seen. That, that's literally what I've seen this freaking, stu this freaking stupid ass company do. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Like, before you buy this clothing, you have to think to yourself, is it really worth it? Is it really worth for me to be spending thousands of dollars on some, on some just useless ass clothing that simply just has a logo? It doesn't even look good, guys. Once again, there are better and way more affordable and cheaper companies that are selling the most sickest designs ever. Once again, like Nike and Gap and everything. So you're really telling me that you're proud to spend thousands of dollars on just some, on just some freaking, what's the, I'm, there's, a, there's like a term that I'm looking for, like on some freaking just like useless, worthless crap. And I am going to call it worthless because it literally is worthless. All of these, clo these clothings are worthless. Once again, the only reason it's expensive is because it has the Dior logo. That's literally it. Other than that, you guys are just blowing off your money on just letdowns. On, these, these companies are playing you guys. And honestly... It's a shame how many, how many people, how much people this company is playing. C come on, man. Like, come on. Dior, I highly doubt you're watching this video. But if you are, let me just give you some advice. How about you actually try to put some design in your clothing? Like, I, I know you you like to take advantage of people. I get that. But why don't you try making an actual good, sick design? That way, you could actually pull in more sales. And ma just make it a little tad bit cheaper. Maybe charge, I don't know, 500 for, like, if you make a cool design. Maybe then you'll possibly get more sales because this is just, this is not cutting it. The, 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 it's not cutting it. You are just taking clothes, normal clothes from the thrift store and slapping a logo on the freaking clothing and then calling it Dior and charging people thousands of dollars. It, it Like, come on, come on. One, one out of 10, one out of 10. Trash ass expensive company, the worst company I've talked about. Worse than Gucci, it, oh my God. This is honestly, I should have expected. This is what expensive clothing brands do. All they do is just freaking play people. I mean, come on, this is just a scandal. Like these people are scamming you out of your freaking money. Seriously, it's worse than what they charge in freaking other countries or whatever. Like ugh. terrible, freaking terrible. One out of ten, trash ass expensive company. Seriously, seriously, Dior. You, I don't, I don't have any more words. That's it. Trash. Why I said goodbye.